I was looking around for, I guess, questions that felt exciting and interesting and live and a bit dangerous. And I decided at some point that identity was an issue that I wanted to try and explore and wanted to try and make a piece about, and it felt like it was very much in the culture. And I sort of went looking through the bookshelves to see what there was that dealt with identity and how it was dealt with and how it was dramatised and what the form was. And I think I had read Professor Bernhardi before, but I didn't know it very well. I've never seen it uh, done in a sort of traditional production. And I kind of read the first chunk of it, the first chunk that deals with the doctor forbidding the priest from the girl's bedside. And I was like, okay, yeah, this feels like it's a good way in to a lot of the questions I want to try and, and, and open up. The, the process of adapting a play for me is now reasonably established insofar as I tend to spend a lot of time with the original play. I tend to try and read it however slowly, however much Google Translate's involved in the original language, so that I'm not sort of uh, distracted by somebody else's adapting point of view, and I try and have a kind of relationship with, with the original, for better or worse. I tend to do quite a bit of reading around it. I consulted in some detail with a medical ethicist. I talked to quite a few doctors and men medical health professionals. I read a couple of books by priests. I read a couple of books about medical ethics. And so I do quite a lot of filling the tank, I suppose, in terms of giving myself things to think about. And then when I write, I just I, I write in a kind of bizarre way, which is that I write completely out of order. So I write whichever bit I feel like writing. I often don't have a plan, so sometimes I don't even know where the bit I'm writing is going to turn up. But I just sort of trust that I have some sense that at some point this might happen. Then all the out of order bits I sort of put together in a guess order. And then I write back through that sort of Frankenstein's monster draft made up of lots of bits. And then usually I gather some actors who are good at reading my stuff and who sort of know how to read it, but who can read it in a way that is the way that it might work. And then I listen to it and then I cross lots of it out and I work out where it doesn't work as best I can and then I go back and write it again. You know, so things present themselves to you in four dimensions when they're right there in the room. And, and I tend to try and follow that rather than resist it and say, well, this is what was written down. I sort of think it's a sort of blueprint. You know, it's an architectural guess about how the house might look. And then when you're actually building the house, you respond to the materials and, and, and what the house seems to need.